My name's Steve Makin and I'm Head of Research and Development for Zoflora. So I'm sat in the laboratory where we develop the new Zoflora formulations. So one of the key things that Zoflora does is uh, it works as a, a disinfectant, a very effective disinfectant. And what do we mean by that? So we mean that it's got um, some active ingredients in there that even when diluted as directed um, have an antibacterial and what's called a viricidal action. Now at the beginning of the pandemic, one of the questions that came up uh, as expected is, will Zoflora kill the current coronavirus, so the COVID-19 virus? Now we know from a lot of the research that we've done in, in the laboratory that I'm sat in now, that we would have uh, efficacy against what's called um, enveloped viruses. And the current COVID-19 COVID uh, virus is an enveloped virus. However, we have been what we think is responsible and cautious when it comes to this. So we tested on what's called a surrogate virus, a virus called Vaccinia, and we were effective, 99.9% .9 kill. We then tested on another coronavirus uh, that doesn't infect humans, but infects uh, mammals. And again, uh, we got 99.9% .9 kill. We still, however, didn't make the, the claim that it kills the COVID-19 virus. We did, however, go about testing that specific virus. And this is not an easy thing to do. Obviously, the laboratories that you have to have to test this virus uh, have to have quite um, strict containment policies in place. However, we tested Zoflora against the current COVID-19 virus and we got 99.99% uh, kill or inactivation of that virus. It was only when we had that data that we felt comfortable going out and making the claim that uh, Zoflora will kill the COVID-19 virus when used according to the labelled instructions. So Zoflora contains some uh, active ingredients that disrupt what's called the lipid coat of certain viruses and, and renders it non-viable uh, or it, it can't go on to infect. Uh, the way that we, we test that is we uh, utilise the, the SARS um, coronavirus 2 and we look at how many uh, viruses are in a test tube basically before treating with Zoflora and after treating with Zoflora. And from that data, we can say that 99.9% .9 of the coronavirus is inactivated or killed. All the testing that we do on Zoflora is, is done to certain standards. So in certain accredited laboratories where required and complies with British and European standards. So Zoflora is obviously an effective disinfectant. The thing that really differentiates Zoflora, however, and, and this is what our consumers tell us, is the fragrance. So it not only kills um, bacteria and viruses, but leaves that beautiful fragrance that Zoflora is known for. So in conclusion, I hope you'll see that we have, uh, we've taken the Zoflora product and brand and done a large amount of testing on it to give us the confidence that when used as directed, this will kill or inactivate the COVID-19 virus. We don't make that claim lightly, but we think using Zoflora is a useful adjunct for ensuring that uh, homes are, are clean and fresh and that we can minimize the viral burden in homes as we go through, the, through these unprecedented times.